Hey guys, welcome to your um, general reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. Uh, you know, we could be talking about, you know, love, you know, career, finances, spiritual growth, personal growth. So, um, so apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, uh, uh, for the collective uh, Capricorn, not Capricorn. I just did Capricorn. I'm so sorry. Taurus people. Not tapping into one sp a specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, you guys, let's get started here for Taurus. What messages do we have for, for Taurus? What's good coming in for Taurus for September 2024 for Taurus? For Taurus here. Four of Pentacles and also the Five of Wands here. Mm. Like, I feel like if there's any sort of anger that you're holding on to here, Taurus, I feel like you're letting go of it. Yeah. Also, I feel like you guys are also in this energy of sort of like taking the high road here. Like, if there's any sort of like drama in around you, you know, I feel like you're, you guys are in this process of like walking away from it. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups here. We have the Justice card, Libra Energy. We also have the Ace of Cups here too. I do feel like, you know, right now in this at this time, you're, you're definitely finding a sense of balance here, you know? Um, I do feel like you guys are also focusing on self-love and really focusing on just, you know, pouring into your own cup at this time, sort of like finding stability and happiness too on your own here. Now, this could also be an indication that, you know, there could be new love that's coming into your life where, you know, someone here could be telling you the truth about how they truly feel about you and what they want with you here. Look at this. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. We have the Lovers here and the Ace of Cups. We have the Justice card and the Eight of Wands. We have the, pa we have the Page of uh, Swords and the Eight of Cups here. Um, some here could have walked away from you at some point here, okay? And now some here is coming back around to tell you how they feel and what they want from you. It seems like this is a bit of a reconciliation energy here, okay? Yeah, I do feel like there was a betrayal here at some point. I mean, you know, it could be good news for you guys if you guys want this person back, if you guys want to be with this person here, okay? But if you guys are by yourselves here, if you guys are not dealing with anyone, some of you guys could be coming off overcoming a difficult situation that you've been through here where there was a betrayal. There could have been, you know, financial issues that you could have been dealing with, dealing with here and that you guys were really, really disconnected from yourself and that you guys could be reconnecting with yourself where things are balancing out for you guys and that you guys are overcoming your financial obstacles here. Okay? So let's see what else we have here for Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know? Look out for work on when it comes to the situation that they're in here. What other good things are coming in for Taurus? What other good things are coming in for Taurus for September 2024 for Taurus? We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Empress here, Libra Taurus. And that's your energy right there. You guys could be in, the, in this energy of just attracting and manifesting here. Okay, some of you guys are in this really creative energy. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Tell me the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles and the Four of Cups here. Mm. Some of you guys are overcoming some sort of sadness here. Yeah. Some of you guys are overcoming some sort of sadness here. Let's see what else we have here. With the Ace of Wands. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. The Two of Cups, okay. 
and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, there is someone here that's definitely coming back around, willing to work on this connection here with you, willing to put the work in. Okay, so with the Ace of so there's a passionate new beginning in love that's happening here. There, I do feel like it's a reconnection with someone here that some where someone here walked out on you. And I feel like this person has a lot to say and I feel like this person wants to apologize for, you know, dipping out on you or walking out on you here. You know, whoever this is, I feel like this person's definitely realizing your worth here. You know, I do feel like this person's realizing your value here. All right. So I do see that there's some sort of reconnection that's happening where I feel like it will take things to the next level where you guys are moving towards higher levels of commitment if you guys do accept this person back here. Okay. Let's see. Tell me the, uh, the uh, Empress here. <coughs> The Death card, Scorpio Energy, Ace of Wands here, and the Two of Pentacles. One of the good things that's happening here, I feel like you guys are going through like a powerful transformation. Some of you guys are going through a lot of changes here, okay? You know, I feel like positive changes all around because I do feel like there's some sort of positive change happening for this person. Now, let's say for some of you guys, if you guys are not really interested in getting back together with this person, you could just, could just move it along because I feel like you guys are in just a really good place Okay, we have the death card here and the two of pentacles. You guys are juggling a lot at this time here. You know, you guys could have started a new business here where I feel like you guys are elbow deep and knee deep in your work at this time. All right, tell me the king of cups here. Why is the king of cups here? And the three of pentacles. Tell me the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? And the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I do believe that there is a situation that you're in right now, uh, Taurus. I feel like things are going to work out here. Yeah. I do feel like it's like a second chance. I do believe that sec the second chance will be worth it here. Okay? I do feel like this is something that maybe you're very passionate about here too. Like I said, I feel like some of you guys could have been waiting for this here and I feel like it's finally happened. That, you know, maybe some here is finally making a decision on you. Not that you guys were waiting and putting all your eggs into one basket, but I feel like you guys were still doing your own thing here, you know, you know, living your life. And I do feel like, you know, this person could be, you know, coming back around, uh, you know, to uh, tell you how they feel and tell you what you want. Okay, tell me the Eight of Pentacles here. And then another thing I'm getting here with the Ten of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles here, you know, all the Pentacles here, I do feel like you guys are working very, very, very hard for your money here, and I feel like you guys are really succeeding, all right? Um, with the Eight of Pentacles here and the Nine of Cups here, you know, you know, this could be an indication that you guys are happy on your own, or that, you know, this could also be an indication that because of all this is happening here, Okay, you know, I feel like your wishes are coming true at this time here, Taurus. All right, let's see what else we have here for Taurus. Eight of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles here. I do believe that there is a new beginning here. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Yeah. This is interesting. Either you feel like you can't do it or someone here feels like they can't do it, but there's a sense of someone here fearing that this can't happen, but I feel like someone here is also trying here, you know? Someone here is giving this a shot. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups. So I do feel like someone here from your past is coming back to reconnect with you here. It does seem like there's a sense of like, oh my God, my wishes are coming true. Some here is coming back change. Some here is coming back different. You know, some here is coming back to commit to me here. Okay. This could also be a same sex couple here, Taurus. It doesn't have to be. So just apply this to your own unique situations here. Okay. So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.